Vivor asked me to take a look at this product and make this short video. So let's take it out of the box and check it out. Here's everything unpacked. You're going to get two spare 20 amp fuses. Instruction manual does a great job to explain the dip switches on the device and how you can adjust the device to adapt to different styles of batteries. And then here's the uh, unit itself. It's an all aluminum casing. It's got fins on each side here to dissipate heat while it's in the charging process. You got the inlet side here where the, the air will flow in and it'll push the air out through these um, fans here uh, that are on each side of the unit. It's an all metal unit on the front and the back and it's bolted in place here. Everything's really well done, put together well. You've got your electrical connectors on this side here and you've got your other connectors here on this side here. Here's where your dip switches are. You're gonna use these to make different adjustments depending on the type of battery that you are charging. So if you have a lead acid battery versus a lithium ion um, or any of those different styles of batteries that you need to, to charge on the output side of the unit, you're gonna definitely um, wanna make those adjustments so that you can have the proper uh, charging go through for that battery. You're also gonna be able to adjust it for different voltages as well. So the input side of the charger is on this side here and whatever is coming in from your battery on your, say it's your RV and you've got your alternator uh, charging that battery and you've got this one connected in, then the output here, depending on how you set the dip switches, uh, will be coming out to charge the other batteries in your RV uh, at the proper level. So if those are lithium ions at a different voltage than maybe a lead acid, you're gonna have that um, lined up just right as you need for that charging to happen. So very compact unit. This one here is the SDC 20 amp, the 20A, uh, has a charging capacity here of 20 amps, but the voltage can vary um, as you need to. So um, up to a maximum of 250 watts at the single output. So you can definitely do whatever is needed to customize uh, that charging system uh, for your RV, for your solar panels, for your whatever battery system you're charging from, uh, this will be a good way to get it with DC power charging up to DC power. Hope that helps. Have a great day.